Well, Javier, I hope you enjoyed the workshop this morning. Um, can I just ask you, what made you create a science-based company? Uh, thank you very much. A very nice workshop, by the way. Um, I went into a science-based uh, company because I'm a civil engineer in training. Uh, always very interested in science, understanding how things work. Uh, but also because I believe that when you have some technological advantage, that's a competitive advantage. Hence, you don't have to compete necessarily only on price or on working very, working very, very hard. So I see it as, as a guarantee for the future of the business. And what problem are you solving with your business at the moment? Um, to a certain extent, I'm trying to use technology to resolve the problems created by technology. I'm genuinely concerned by how technology is taking over everything and how more and more people will be displaced from the labor um, environment because you need higher qualifications, higher training, higher requirements, more capital. And through quantum ways, what we are trying to use is to create, to use waste, which is a resource available everywhere, to create local jobs for local people and jobs that um, can be self-sustained and don't require a lot of investment up front and health that are available to anybody who wants to take control of their own lives. Yeah, so it's very rewarding as well. So what, what, would you, um, what advice would you give for a, say, 10-year-old or 12-year-old who's at school wondering what subjects to go on and study in the future? Well, I would definitely go for science. And, and it's a personal taste, um, but I think it's very important when you understand what is underlying the world, what is feasible and what is not feasible, you will avoid people taking advantage of you. I've seen so many cases, people selling just bogus technologies, and it needs somebody well-educated to understand if that is a viable technology or not. So if only so that people don't take advantage of you, try to learn why things work and how things work.